Hi guys, I'm Benjamin Papik, I'm a professional actor, and I'm documenting my journey learning Portuguese with Rosetta Stone. This week I made it to the end of Unit 2. I learned a lot of words about family, friends, and places, so no matter where I am, I know how to say it. O quarto. A cozinha. O banheiro. A rua. Now, I'm still pretty rough on conjugations, but I think I'm finally ready for my first big challenge. Mariana, aqua viva, braço roto. We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna try to have like very minimal Q&A with you. Okay. Just in Portuguese. O qual o seu nome uh, do seu pai? No, no, do seu pai. Uh -huh. Did I conjugate that right? The way you phrased it, you said, qual é o seu nome do seu pai? So it's like, what is your name of your father? Oh. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, perfect. So, ding, ding, ding. so correct would be... Uh, qual o nome do seu pai? Qual o nome do seu pai? Yeah. O nome do meu pai é a Mauri. Qual país é você de? Está você de? No, no, no. De qual país você é? Oh, okay. Oh, because I already said de, right? Yeah, yeah. De, de qual país você é? Eu sou do Brasil. Brasil. Good job. Hey. Good job. Good job. Good job. Você tá com calor ou com frio? Oh, uh, eu tenho mm -hmm. com. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's like I am with. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am, <laughs> I am with hot. With heat. I am with heat. <laughs> Okay, eu tô com calor, or eu tenho calor. Eu tenho I have calor. Hey, hey. I have you. Você me ama? Oh, sim. Ah! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Turns out it's okay to make mistakes. We need to do that in order to make progress with the language. I really love that my roommate speaks Portuguese, so I have someone I can practice with in person. If you have a friend or a loved one who already speaks the language you're learning, practice with them. And if you don't, find another friend who wants to learn the language and just use what you're learning each week with them. It'll help you make a lot of progress. Two interesting things this week. Number one, bebe is always masculine, even if it's a little baby girl. Number two, when you're talking to someone like a teacher or a grandpa or grandma, someone in a position of authority that you look up to, there's a particular way of addressing them that we don't really have in English. O que o senhor está fazendo? Or, o que a senhora está fazendo? Which in English would be like, um, what is your sirness doing? You know, we don't really have it. I'd love to hear what you learned this week that was really interesting to you. Tag me and Rosetta Stone on Instagram or Twitter and let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. And I'll be back in a couple more weeks with my next post, Learning Portuguese with...